I'm now on the Vintage Sports Car Club with Nick Topless and R4D. Good afternoon, Nick, and welcome to Race Retro 2018. Good afternoon. Could you give me a brief history on the car, please? Uh, yeah, certainly. So this is an ERA, R4D is its chassis number. Uh, it was the works car for the company. Um, first built in a D-type format uh, in 1938, and it's the only car of its type. So a, a D-type was the last development of the upright ERAs. Um, it was run by Raymond Mays, who started ERA and went on to run BRM. Uh, so it was his personal car, um, and he ran it incredibly successfully, um, still competitive in hill climbs uh, in the 50s. Um, has a continuous history from 1938, um, and we still run it in anger every year in the VSCC. And you now, you don't own the car, but you actually drive it, is that correct? That's correct. So this car is owned by Brian Fiddler. Um, I own another ERA, which is R4A, um, which has an equal sort of history and pedigree. Um, but this one is very specialist in the sense that it has a lot more power and was developed as a hill climb car. So we predominantly hill climb this car and I still race my own. So could you give me a little bit of the characteristics of when you're driving it, how, what it's like to drive it? It's very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, so it has probably about 300 horsepower at the rear wheels. Um, as you can see, very imperiod uh, tyres and brakes and the like. Um, so it, it's very much a sort of um, experience of driving with power. So where your right foot goes is what happens to the car um, and particularly in the wet, I mean you can spin the wheels in any gear, it will really light itself up. So it's tremendous fun um, and uh, a challenge I think. Every, every time I get out I always think, you know... That and, was... and what's it like to race without, without a seatbelt? Um, well, I've never raced with a seatbelt, so I've not ever had the, <laughs> have the comparison. Um, it, it, you, as soon as you get in the car, and I think this is universal for most people who drive vintage cars, um, your perception of where you are and what you're doing is about driving the car. You're not thinking about whether you've got a, a full harness on or whether you've got a hands device. Um, you're too focused driving it. Absolutely. Yeah. You've got 110 yeah. percent. Where am I going? What am I doing? Uh, there is a, a, a genuine respect between the drivers. Um, so we don't drive it like a Formula Ford. No. We don't have contact um, or anywhere near contact because the consequence of having a, uh, any sort of contact in this car, not only financial consequence, but yeah. you know, in period it was a dangerous uh, sport. So this coming season, uh, what are you racing it in this, this coming season? So R4D will predominantly do uh, hill climbs, so we'll race at all the classic uh, venues, so Shelsley, Walsh um, and um, uh, Prescott and, and Goodwood and places like that. Um, so we'll do sprints and hill climbs. Uh, I'll also run the other car at Monaco and we may well run this car at one of the international events later in the year. So you won't be at the spring start in April then? Yes. Whether it's with R4D or R4A is a little bit dependent upon engine rebuilds at the moment. But, but one or other of those cars will, will be there. Yeah. Well, I, look for, I hope you have a great season. Uh, I look forward to seeing you. I'm hoping to film at the, at the spring start meeting. I hope you'll be there. Yep. And thank you very much for the interview. Oh, you're very, very welcome. Very, very welcome. Thank you very much, Nick. Thank you.